One of the things Les Leslie has done, I find in my 67 years, to be truly mind-blowing. She wrote this book, which when you read it, you feel that she's intimately familiar with Bob Noyce, the mayor of Silicon Valley and my hero ever since I, I met him in April of 1970 in a class I took at Stanford. Can you tell us process and the methods that you used to do the research that led to this exquisite book on Bob Noyce? Okay, that would be a very long answer. I mean, I think the first thing I would say actually is that now the book Or that just I, say how long it took you it, and okay. who, what was the process, who you interviewed and oral histories and uh, getting various memorabilia and so on and so forth. So I, it started out as my doctoral dissertation. I had wanted to write a biography of Noyce as my dissertation, and my dissertation advisor told me I was too young to write a biography of anyone because I was 25 years old and I hadn't even begun to learn anything. Um, it was a good call. Uh, so, but between the time I started writing the dissertation, which turned out to be on the semiconductor industry in Silicon Valley, using Noyce's life at, or work as a tool in, um, until the until I was finished with the book, it was about 10 years. Um, but one thing I wanted to say in, in a connection with what Alan was just saying is that um, it may seem like it would be easier to write a book about someone who's alive uh, than someone who has died. And I'm actually right now in the process of writing a book that has several kind of main characters in it, one of whom is Al Alcorn, who's sitting in the corner here. And um, part of it, it's very hard to write a book about people who are alive, um, in part because A, you come to care about them, um, and, and B, uh, depending on who they are, they can extend great influence still over other people who are talking to you. Um, so in the case of Noyce, he had, he had died um, in 1990. I started working on the dissertation in about 1995. And he died very, very young. He was only 62. And people were, uh, had, had gotten enough distance on his work, um, his colleagues were still all alive, that they were able to talk with me about him in a sort of objective way and with a little bit of distance, particularly as the dissertation turned into the book and the process extended on and on and on. Um, and I think that's very important because um, to get to the research methods, um, I, I relied very heavily on primary sources, uh, some of which were provided by Ted Hoff, actually some of the very important ones. And when we talk about accuracy, I can go into that. Um, but then I also, I did do a lot of interviews and um, being able to talk to people who have some, some, some objective All sense of, of what they're talking about is, is, uh, is very important as well.